Hello, my name is Benny Bertanians. I am a data analyst with BT Provider. In this video, we will see how we can improve the overall readability of a simple table using icons and shapes highlights. When creating dashboards, visual elements don't have to be limited to the data visualizations alone. They can also extend to other components in order to help the user process and understand their visualization faster. So what we want to do is to improve this simple table using shapes and icons. Let's start with the rows header of the table. Let's create a new sheet. Call it rows header. And what we would like to see is category on the first column and subcategory on the second column. But we won't just drag them on rows because this looks a bit bland. Instead, on columns, we add a calculation of mean of zero and what that does is generate a column for us. Let's also duplicate it so we have two columns and add subcategory on row. But we'll hide this subcategory and we'll also hide these headers. Let's format the view a little bit. We'll go to borders and remove all column dividers. Next, we'll go to lines and remove all grid lines and zero lines. Let's also fit the entire view. Next, we'll be using the marks pane to populate the two columns. So this is the first column and this is the second column. Let's populate the first column first, and we would like to have an icon for each category. And we'll be using only the first letter of each category. In order to get the first letter, let's use the formula left of category and bring in the first letter. Let's put it on label. Now we need to change the mark type to circle. We can make it a bit larger and let's put the label in the middle of the circle now we like to color the circles for each category so we can bring in category and put it on color Okay, we could also clean up the label a bit. Sorry, the tooltip. And now we can see each category in a nice icon. Let's take care of the second column now. So we click on the other mean. Let's bring in the subcategory on label change the mark type to ground bar and from color set the opacity to zero. Now we can change the label formatting a bit, make it bigger. And now the row header is done. Let's now create a sheep highlighted table. To make it easier for ourselves, we can duplicate this sheet. Let's call it shapes table and remove everything from the two marks. Now, if you remember here, we had uh, quantity, sales and profit. So we need another column. Let's remove the header again. Now change the type to account bar for the first. So we have the all three of them need to have the same formatting. Let's take care of that. Now we can bring in the measures we want to see. So 
the first column let's bring in quantity on label for the second one sales and for the final one we'll bring in profit and do a quick table calculation of percent of total and we'll format it so we won't have any decimal places but what we want to do is to highlight the profit using shapes so let's duplicate this sheet and we'll change the mark type for the last column with, on which we have profit we'll change it to shape let's select a rectangle bring it back in the opacity so we can see it increase its size a bit and we'll center the label We would also like to color it by positive and negative values. So we need to create a calculated field. Let's call it color and use the unif formula. So if sum of profit is less than zero, then we'll call it negative else positive let's bring in our color and assign different colors to them oh, the other way around and let's also make the text a bit more visible now let's add the sheets to a dashboard let's hide the title and remove all padding And we'd also like to have a header for each of the values. In order to do that, we can go back to our original sheet. And we'll just remove the formula. And put the quantity in quotes. Selling for sales. and for profit let's remove subcategory we also need to remove these row dividers so let's go to format And now we can add it to the dashboard. And we resize them a bit. And remove the title. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.